Je suis un peu plus de temps, 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 je suis un peu plus de no choice but to tell her that her mother had been killed that I found her and raised her that I was both her mother and her sister Marie when you first saw me what kind of baby was I what did I look like What made you decide to take me? You were just a normal baby. A little normal baby. I took you because I thought that whoever had slashed your mother, if they came back and found you alive, they would kill you too. Or you may simply die of hunger. You are a hapless baby, surrounded by death from every side. What did she look like? My mother. <laughs> She was dark-skinned. Dark-skinned, dark but I'm... I know, you're light-skinned. I guess you look like your father. My, my father? Yes, and I'm sure they would have made a great family. But why does your family hate me? They hate you because you become a burden. They kept forcing me to get rid of you because they were afraid that you may get us killed. But again, how could I? I was confused. I didn't want to put my family in danger. I was just a child trying to raise another child. But what had I done wrong? Nothing. How could you? You were just a baby. It's just that you were Tutsi and were Hutu. Having you with us was like cheating on death. You see, they kept forcing me to abandon you on our way to Congo. But I told them to walk in front and then I'll stay behind. And if I had to die, I would die. 
Nokia. There's nothing I could ever do to to pay you back. <laughs> Come on. God bless me the day I found you. And has never pro stopped for, by providing for us. Huh? Never forget that. We are both alive. Now, all I want for you is to grow up. Find a good job. Lead a good life. What do you want to become when you grow up? Uh, my dream is to have a profession that, that brings justice or, or kindness or that helps people. Like, like a judge or, or a doctor or an artist. <laughs> an artist? Yes. If you could tell me any little detail you remember about my mother. What her hands looked like. Her fingers or her eyes. Then I could draw her. Yes, I would draw her. A picture of her and I would I would All I have left of your mother's memory is this blood stained cloth that I found you in wrapped you in, and used to carry you in on my back. I always loved African prints. They say all things never truly die, but only change in form and design. One hope, one longing, is enough to weave a piece of cloth, a living fabric that can keep me alive. This world is choked with so many questions, but there is always a rose in a bush of thorns. This I know. No kuripe. Goodbye. I never wanted to live without you. But now all I have left is this blood stained cloth. Before your soul left this, your body, you passed me on to another to survive this. Cruel, cruel world. But now I have this. Oh, Mama, I will hold it. I will rest in it. I will wear it. 
and take pictures with it and hang it on the walls of my heart that beats with the blood that we share. Oh, Mama, let the wings of your soul carry me with you. Carry me with you for as long as I have this, this memory. We shall never be apart. I will live to make you proud, Mama. I promise. I promise.